Nestled in the Himalayas, Kashmir's natural beauty is unparalleled, yet it remains entangled in the enduring rivalry between India and Pakistan, trapped in a cycle of conflict for decades. The popular perception about accepting the partition of India is that lust for quick and easy power prompted leaders to settle for a hasty and imperfect division. But was this really the reason behind or was there something else? After the partition of India, the issue of Jammu and Kashmir emerged as a significant challenge that persists to this day. The Indian partition famously quoted by M.K. Gandhi, the demand has been granted because you asked for it. The Congress never asked for it, but the Congress can feel the pulse of the people. Why was it such that even Gandhi, who was totally against the partition, suddenly agreed by saying such a statement that it was what the people wanted and not the other way around? In 1947, amidst turmoil, Kashmir's Maharaja Hari Singh hesitated over accession, facing rebellion and Pakistani incursions. He then ceded for India's aid as rebels threatened Srinagar and finally acceded to India in writing on October 27, 1947, which was accepted by Lord Mountbatten. This was followed by large-scale invasions from Pakistani side, which ultimately led to Indian forces guarding against these forces. And then again in 1948, Indian forces aided by the National Congress led by Sheikh Abdullah regained control in Srinagar against raiders from Pakistan. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru pledged a referendum for Kashmir once the conflict totally ended. The United Nations also mediated at the request of Jawaharlal Nehru calling for a ceasefire and plebiscite. Although a ceasefire began on January 1st, 1949, the promised plebiscite never occurred. But a big question is, was there any need for a plebiscite which was mediated by some foreign support when Raja Hari Singh had already agreed to join India instead of Pakistan? Here, India cited Pakistan's failure to withdraw troops, while Pakistan accused India of not holding the promised plebiscite. This Kashmir issue has since remained a sensitive yet crucial matter for India. Now, let's know about the most talked about article in the Constitution of India, Article 370. So, this article was created as a temporary provision to address the specific requirements of the troubled times immediately after India's independence. It was specifically created to grant special status and autonomy to Jammu and Kashmir, which would differentiate it from other states and union territories of India. However, Article 370 also built an emotional and psychological barrier between the people of Kashmir and the rest of India. Its abrogation aimed to eradicate this specific barrier. Over time, various political parties and businessmen, both inside and outside Jammu Kashmir, used Article 370 for their vested interests, advocating for how this article is for the good cause of Kashmir and its people. If you are thinking about why is there any need to strike down this article from the constitution, then you have to first know what the makers of the constitution felt about it. Did you know that when Sheikh Abdullah tabled the demand for a special status for Kashmir, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar totally opposed it, stating, You want India to defend Kashmir, give Kashmir equal rights over India, but you deny India and Indians all the rights in Kashmir? I am the law minister of India and I cannot be a party to such a betrayal of national interests. Now that you have known why this law was created in the first place, did you ever think about what the special status Status actually held? Let me tell you, this status provided Jammu and Kashmir autonomy to have their own constitution, their own flag, to make their own laws without any disturbances from outside and gave the people special rights to buy and own land in Kashmir. Simply put, Jammu and Kashmir was a small autonomous state within India which had almost all powers in its own hands. After the constitutional changes and reorganization in 2019 of the erstwhile states of Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh, they have been fully integrated into the mainstream of the nation. This integration has brought about socio-economic development, empowerment of the people, removal of unjust laws, and equity and fairness to those who were discriminated against for ages. With Article 370's repeal, the canvas of a new future for the people of Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh awaits, inviting all to witness the transformation as they forge ahead towards a horizon of shared prosperity and unity. At last, I want to say that if you have the will to fight for the right, then you must delve deep into its causes which led to what it is today, without keeping any biases.
Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.